Okay, now I am keeping in my hands in here and I check that these upper markings, they are okay. And then also these down markings, all of these are in line. And, and then I have to only install these down areas, these two lines together. But now I a little bit move that in here, in that way. Good. And now this, when I keep compression in here down, look, now these white lines are okay, also these belt lines, and then these up areas lines are okay. And then I can install this my tensioner in this central area. And there is this my tensioner. And always when we replace this new timing belt, we have to replace also this new tensioner. Because this inner area's bearings can be damaged. And now I assume that this part goes in the central hole. That way. Now it's there. I okay. Again test. First this pin and then this bolt. First this central pin and then this bolt. Okay, and then I rotate this my tensioner. And I press the tensioner in there deep. And then I need to rotate the central bolt totally. Good, and then I check that this belt is in right position, look, now it looks good, and I check that all of these are fine, and then this down area also, and then I can take this tensioner locking bolt, that one, away, and it happens so that I all time compress now this belt, because I am, I I I worry that these signs, these parts can move in wrong position. And now I take carefully I take carefully that my pin away so that I press this in here and in, in the same time I can actually I can actually rotate that. Now I take the spin out, and it is not so easy. That's if we have some metallic pin, it, it should. Now it. Now I manage to take that. And now, now I can take my fingers away because now this tensioner start to pull. And then I check that are those my markings okay, and everything, even these are okay, and those markings also in that side, these markings in here, they are fine. Excellent. I check also, okay, good. Looks good. Excellent. And then final step is that I have to fasten this central bolt central bolt and there was this 13 millimeter bolt and, and I fastened that in specific togue about 40 newton meters please check that what is your engines this togue and now when we are in that step, I I can I can I have to then install before now we have to be really careful that if I now rotate this my engine, this my timing goes wrongly. Look, it is possible. But now I I can show that when we have this U in here 
And then if I now, I am not very accurate and I rotate like this my belt in here, in that way. Now these parts goes wrongly, look. Now those five markings are wrongly. And what to do if we are, look, now these lines are in badly. And that means that now this engine timing is wrong. And that's I have to rotate immediately that in same situation, carefully. And this is really accurate. Okay, and now I believe that. Good. Okay, and now they are in right position. Look. Good. And this is this Ford's big mistake. Because if we rotate that in the wrong way, then our car it don't work. And then next step is to insert this our big. Of course, we need to install those plastic covers in there, but then we have to install that part, this puller feel, for to compress these parts together. This is this locking system. When these parts and this bolt, when I fasten that bolt in here, there is this compression what makes this part to like lock in that way, and then the central bolt, and then I fasten this bolt in this huge force, what was something like 150 50 newtons. It is huge, huge amount of force. Okay, good. And then, then I have this fastening job, what is really, really hard job. I, I remember that this dog is something like 150 newtons. Okay. Okay, that kind of information, and this gives something information to you, and within these hints, you have chance to replace this timing belt. But remember that be really carefully, and then when we do this final step, I like to show, I fasten, I fasten that my bolt now. And now, now when I am fastening, then there is trick that how I can fasten that more. There is there is one 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 thing that now I have to again compress these cars, this this uh, engines. That engine is gear number one, and then we brake cars, brake pedals, or then then we insert in that area in here, in that part, that we insert in here some locking plate that we lock like in. If we have some metallic plate. And we take our start motor away and we insert some metallic plate in this way. And then when they, there is this lock moment, and then when I I now fasten this my belt in that way, it is easy because when I fasten that in this way. It's my locking system in here, but can't be any. Now I'll fasten. It keeps this like lock. Lock. Because when then I when I take this locking plate away, then this my engine flight wheel moves. And then when it moves, it happens so that that I can't fasten that. Okay, and now now when this Everything looks quite okay. I I need to then rotate that my engine, and I need to check that that when this belt is moving, that that how easily 
these belt parts, when they are, those markings are in same, I have to check that are those markings still okay in all positions. Now I rotate that. And I am plating those three. Okay, there are those two signs. Okay, now they, I need to rotate again because these parts must ma match. I need to rotate that. Now, now not yet. And now I have to rotate that so many times that these symbols are in same slot. And I will rotate that little bit and I check and we continue sure. Okay, and now when I am rotating this belt, it is good to take those spark plugs away because then it is much more easier, easier, easier to rotate this engine because now there is no any non, none of, of these spark plugs and there is less, less this compression and then this rotating. Now I'm using that kind of tool. And then when we look that when this my when this my signs are in same, let's look what is their situation. And now I believe that they they can can maybe be quite same. Let's look where are those my markings. They are coming in here, these three symbols. Okay, and now there is a situation that, that I have to make these markings to fit, because otherwise there is then situation that this my timing is bad and if we have thing that we can't we can't make these these my markings to fit in again like in that my way even that that I have rotated many times and there is really situation that I have to disassemble these all parts again all parts Away, away, and then when I I take these parts away, I set up this my my timing belt again in the same time. This is mandatory because if there is situation that these markings, if they don't match, there has been some slippery. For example, when I fasten that crankshaft puller wheel. And it is really bad situation. And all of these markings they have match. And and like in here now I have that these parts match, but this timing belt is not in right position. Let's look at and I rotate. I have this my my markings markings in that side in here. Let's wait. Okay, there are also my markings coming and three markings in here and now when we look this my three markings are in here and then these are in here and it seems that now they are not matching and also in here those two markings they must be in here and now there is really situation that if I have that kind of situation I need to take this crankshaft puller wheel I have to open that central, central bolt and then take all parts again, all parts away and reinstall those parts. Okay, that kind of information. But this was 
only informative thing that how to do. Okay, and thank you for watching and then then we can continue.